What's up guys? I am the Metal Mouseketeer here at Disneyland. Today is the 5th of January, which means that in four days they are going to be changing out Christmas. Today what we're going to do is we're going to check out some cool, interesting things you might not have known about Disney or Disneyland for that matter. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Metal Mouseketeer at YouTube.com. Let's get to it. So, interesting fact about this flagpole is that it's actually stolen. So let's pan up here. And the story is, is that on a random night, one of the engineers for the park came across this in the roadway, strapped it on the car, and brought it here. So at some point this was probably some type of signal lamp, or some type of structure and what they did was he just strapped it to the car and took it here interesting fact and we're not even into the park for three seconds all right so another interesting fact is that great moments with mr. Lincoln was supposed to be a whole Avenue slash street. So back behind there, the original uh, Liberty Square would have been. But they opted with funding that they didn't have not to add that in. So it would have been cool to have a Liberty Square for all the presidents in Disneyland. Here's another interesting fact. This used to be a tobacco store. So you could get tobacco. You get tobacco in, uh, in Disney. They don't have that anymore, apparently. Interesting fact today from the Metal Mouseketeer is, is that along Main Street in these windows are people that were either animators or engineers Imagineers, rather. Their names are across all these windows on Main Street. So, Alice Davis, Mark Davis, and so on and so on. Down Main Street. Let's go over to the other side here. Elias Disney. Yeah, so if you walk down Main Street and you look up, names of all, or some, the Imagineers. Not something you see every day. Full on helicopter by Disney. Considering this is a restricted airspace, it must have some type of permission like way to the sun right now. Interesting fact that a piece of the Matterhorn fell down a couple years ago. No guests were injured, but it was during nighttime, so they had to hurry and patch it before the park opened the next day. So, an awesome fact 
that I found out is there is no beacon light on the top of the castle. And that is because when they were designing it at 200 feet, you, they would have had to put a beacon light for airplanes. So they opted to keep the castle at 199 feet to avoid having a blinking light at the top. Something you might not know. Upon being disappointed that Snow White was the same size as the Seven Dwarves, Force Perspective gives us a top view that makes her look larger. So since Walt didn't like that, they figured out a way to make it work, as Walt always did. Alright, so my personal favorite Disney fact is, is that when they do the Merlin and pull the sword from the stone, there's actually, somewhere on Pinocchio, there's a green light that will appear, and in the controls of the carousel will release the sword from the stone. And that's the way the magic works. Alright guys, so we got Jingles, the horse, now dedicated to Mary Poppins. As well as we know the story of Walt and the amusement park and the bench. This is where he brought his vision to life. So Tomorrowland, in the early days, was mostly all funded from other big companies. So General Electric, GE, uh, Montecito, I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's fine. And a couple other companies that would showcase their uh, innovations for the future. So now, that's what we have. So this building right here used to be the Carousel of Progress. Uh, inside look into what it would be like in the future with your family. So there was an injury to a cast member and they ended up changing it and it no longer rotates. But it used to rotate the audience instead of the scenes. So I think there's three or four different scenes in there. So they ended up making it so it doesn't rotate, so it's only one little auditorium. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, this is an avocado tree. They frown upon you picking the avocados, but some have known to been taken from the park. But yeah, avocado tree, right next to Space Mountain. What's up? This is the Metal Mouseketeer, and right now, what you're looking at is an old ride from when the park first opened. It was the famous boat ride here at Disneyland, right next to Matterhorn, as well as Autotopia. And right now, you can see the monorail. So, the cool thing about this is not only is it a cool place to chill and relax out of the way, kind of in the, the cuts, so to speak, but this was actually one of my favorite rides as a kid because it ended up turning into Gummy Glen. That's right. The Gummy Bears cartoon series ended up having a ride right here. And what they did was is they just repurposed and put up a bunch of uh, Gummy Bear type items around. And it was a cool little boat ride. I rode it a couple times as a kid. And then they ended up closing it and filling it all backfill and backfilled it in right from about here. So this actually was two rides before it was closed down. Miss those boats. So 
So, up until fairly recently, the small world was closed because it flooded. So, I would imagine some of the fiberglass probably had its uh, fair share of riders and needed to be replaced. So Roger Rabbit is the only Disney movie that would be a collaboration between Warner Brothers and all of the cartoon world just for this movie. And to think it wasn't going to be made and people passed on it. What a great movie. You didn't think I'd give you all the facts in one video, did you? I don't think so. Stay tuned for more videos about facts about Disney, news, and other things. Follow Metal Mouseketeer on YouTube.com. I'm going to close out today by saying, keep it metal, get yourself a bread bowl.